The Gold and Silver Circle Awards are the Lifetime Achievement Awards for the Upper Midwest Emmy Regionals. The Gold Circle symbolizes 50 years of service in our industry and our chapter. The Silver recognizes more than 25 years. Each of our recipients have made a significant impact on the television industry and also their communities. Our first Silver Circle recipients met on the set in the 1970s and have been working together at KCCI in Des Moines since 1982. They are known as the first couple of Des Moines TV, Kevin and Molly Cooney. Kevin and Molly Cooney have been together a long time. Both grew up in Des Moines. <laughs> they met at Iowa State University in the early 70s. Kevin started working at KCCI in 1969 as a part-time production assistant at the ripe old age of 16. But it wasn't long before he wrangled that into a full-time job in the newsroom. Kevin grabbed a CP16 film camera and headed out to tell Iowa stories. 45 years later, Kevin is still telling Iowa stories now as KCCI's main anchor. Molly started her TV career in 1974. She was one of the first women in the newsroom in those days. She has covered the political beat, the education beat, the health beat. She now anchors the new news on KCCI. Molly joined Kevin at KCCI in 1976. They have reported together. They have anchored together. In 1980, they got married together. Kevin and Molly Cooney have touched and helped shape the coverage of every big story in Iowa. They have interviewed presidents. I think we have to begin with your reaction to today's events in Oklahoma City. And they have covered the stories of everyday Iowans, showcasing their extraordinary lives. Kevin and Molly have always been a team. When the floods of 1993 crippled the city of Des Moines, Kevin was on the front lines. Molly was on the set for seven straight hours, together helping their neighbors. And they worked together in the coverage of the historic birth of the McCoy septuplets. Kevin with the exclusive announcement of their birth. The birth of the septuplets happened about 15, about a half hour ago. Here's the great part. All seven are doing fine. Molly with the first exclusive interview with the mom and dad. Can you say what that moment felt like? <laughs> awesome. Together, they have more awards than walls, but they've never taken that or themselves too seriously. Kevin and Molly say they're just reporters working together to make their hometown a better place for families just like theirs. Together, we congratulate Silver Circle honorees, Kevin and Molly Cooney. Ladies and gentlemen, the couple. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, the couple that got married together, Kevin and Molly Cooney from KCCI TV in Des Moines, Iowa. truly, truly honored to be here tonight among the other silver and gold award winners in the past. And I want to say personally, thank you for allowing me for 40 years to be a part of this fabulous in industry. I can't think of doing anything else, and I never will want to do anything else. I want to thank this industry for allowing me to age gracefully on TV from gray hair to silver to white hair. Oh, wait, that's your speech. <laughs> Surviving in this industry for 40 years, dodging consultants, dodging station owners, station ownership changes, audience selection, and questions about who cuts your hair. This is my passion, this industry. I have been lucky to have grown up in a wonderful newsroom 
where news was a passion. My mentors were people who didn't have to be called in for a breaking story. If there was a tornado, if there was a snowstorm, if there was breaking news, they showed up and they covered the news. And that's what we do. I'm grateful to have found a career that I love and that still includes us, and it values our skills, our experience. And I encourage any of you out there to find your passion and follow it. I was lucky to hit a home run from the very, very start. Obviously, we have gone through tremendous changes. I could probably still thread a CP16, a Bell and Howe windup. I could do a displacer. But the message remains the same. No matter how technology changes, we are the messengers, and we are there. We're storytellers. That's what we do. I'm grateful to have had a front row seat to all the technology changes in the past, and I look forward to seeing what comes next. Covering the news, reporting the story, featuring the fascinating or the fallen. Kevin and I could not have done it without the support of our three children, Alex, Meredith, and huh, Liz, <laughs> who are here tonight, grown, we have grandkids. They had to put up with parents who worked weekends, nights, holidays, covered the stories, covered the floods, no questions asked, being stopped by Iowans no matter how far we went on vacation. There were Iowans, <laughs> and they found us. I want to thank Alex, our son, who put it best. Years ago, when our kids were in high school and college, we had the girls in the car, and Alex got in the car, and he looked around, and he said, do you realize I'm the only one in this family who doesn't wear makeup? <laughs> this is why. Thank you so much. Well, Molly already took my line about the gray hair and stuff like that, so I just want to echo uh, Molly's sentiments and, and just talk a little bit about gratitude. Uh, first of all, thanks to the Upper Midwest Chapter for the Silver Circle Award. Um, thanks to KCCI for their support, our news director, Dave Buzik, our general manager, Brian Sather, both of whom are here tonight. Thanks for supporting Molly and me through the better part of 40 years and sometimes a little bit more. Uh, as our careers, as Molly mentioned, you know, stretch through a variety of technologies, uh, formats, philosophies, if you will. I started a long time ago, more than 40 years ago, as you saw, but I really started at the feet of my mother and father. Two reporters for the Des Moines Register, sorry, And I want to thank them tonight, too. Jim and Pat Cooney taught me it was all about the story. It was always about the story. Tell the story well. It became a passion for me from the time I was, well, in high school. Um, I thank them for sharing that passion and with the philosophy that it's always going to be about the story. It's not about the person writing the story or reporting the story. You've done a good story if people talk about the story after it's done, not if they talk about you. If the reader or viewer is talking about the story, you've done your job well, they said. One of the legendary members of our team at KCCI, and it is the ultimate team, as most of you here know. It is the ultimate team process, producing a television show. But I just want to wrap up with something that one of our primary team members said to me a long time ago. His name is Courtney Kinzer. Some of you know Courtney. He put together that video, by the way. He also shot that video of me with my afro 40 years ago in front of a fire. And he is a talented genius, if ever there was one, but his focus, no pun intended, isn't always on video and film and imagery. He's quite the philosopher. 
So tonight, I think of a phrase that he often repeats, something that he told me years ago. And I have it, as a matter of fact, in my office, printed up, hanging on a bulletin board, underneath a picture of Courtney, as Dave knows, in a tutu, which is another story for another time and probably another audience. But it's a quote from him that exemplifies, I think, why we do this, something that we can all identify with. And it's as simple as this. We have the ultimate backstage pass to life. That's what makes this such a wonderful, wonderful business. And I have always said, people talk to me, this gray hair that Molly mentioned, you know, start mentioning now about, hey, how long are you going to be here? How long are you going to be retired? You know, and stuff like that. I'm going to keep doing this as long as it's fun. And as long as, as, long as I still have that back page, uh, backstage pass to life. Thank you, and thank you to the chapter again. <laughs> Congratulations.